Hi, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Let's review collagen modification. This is crucial. Let's get started. So, collagen starts as alpha chain called pre-pro-collagen. Okay, this one. It contains some hydrophobic signal sequence. Okay, by an enzyme called chain peptidase, this sequence will be cut off and will produce this straight line and it's known as pro-collagen. Okay, what else? Then, this pro-collagen will undergo three processes. First one is hydroxylation, and this requires vitamin C. This is hydroxylation. Second, glycosylation. This is glycosylation. By the way, the hydroxylation is hydroxylation of selected prolines and lysines and it requires vitamin C as a cofactor. Glycosylation of selected hydroxylysine. So, what's the third step? The third step is the formation of the triple helix. Three helical formations. Triple helix. Three helical structures. Okay, so let's review. We have pre-pro-collagen, peptidase, pro-collagen, hydroxylation, glycosylation, triple helix formation. Then, it is secreted outside of the cell, since it's made inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum, it will go to the outside of the cell as the triple helix, it's still pro-collagen. Okay, there are some extra stuff here on these sides. They are called propeptides. Cleavage of this, these propeptides will yield tropocollagen. It's a triple helix less the propeptides. Then, by using an enzyme called lysyl oxidase, which requires copper as a cofactor, collagen fibrils are formed. Then these collagen fibrils are aggregated together to form collagen fibers. This is the end product. That's the goal of these processes. Okay, so this is collagen modification in brief. Pre-pro-collagen by peptidase will yield pro-collagen. Hydroxylation, glycosylation, triple helix formation, then it's secreted outside the cell as pro-collagen. We will remove these pro-peptides to yield tropo-collagen. Lysyl oxidase will give us collagen fibrils or fibrils they will aggregate together to form the collagen fibers. Okay, if any abnormality happens, there is a disease. So, for example, a problem with vitamin C called scurvy will yield defect in collagen modification. That's why in scurvy we get bruising. Why is that? These bruises are from lack of collagen fibers in the wall of the blood vessel. So we get bruises. Also in this hydroxylation step, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome type 6 is in this step. Okay, lysyl oxidase, a defect in this enzyme will give us a syndrome called Menke's syndrome. Remember, problem in type 1, 1 collagen 
is called osteogenesis imperfecta. This is the one to remember it. Problem in type 4. Collagen is called Alport syndrome. So, we have scurvy, Ehlers-Danlos 6, Menkes, Osteogenes Imperfecta, Alport syndrome. All of these diseases will make sense only if we understand the process of collagen modification, which is a post -translation, translational modification of protein. The end product is collagen fibers, which are strong, needed everywhere. This is, in brief, collagen modification process. Please subscribe to my channel. Medicosis Perfectionalis is producing new videos every week. See you next time. You take care.